there, and thank you for tuning into this screencast. I'm Rex Proctor. In this screencast, we're going to cover off some of the advanced shortcuts in the Timeline and Composer. Shortcuts that will help keep your fingers on the middle of the keyboard, on your home keys. At Fulcrum, we love keyboard shortcuts that help us not go grab for the mouse and the awkward sort of arrow key stretch that you have to do with your pinky and so on. Anything to keep your fingers right there in the middle of the keyboard is what we want. The keyboard shortcuts can be found in the online help manual or underneath the clip menu. Most of the keyboard shortcuts you'll find um, to be located in these menu items along the top of the screen. So in the timeline, the first keyboard keystrokes I want to talk about are Control J K L. Control L will fast forward the video. Control J will rewind the video. Now these are exactly the same as the left and right arrow key. Control K will play the video and if you double tap it it will accelerate the video just like the up arrow does. The spacebar and everything still works. So really easy you're keeping your fingers in the middle of the keyboard if I want to create a clip in row one I have my clip cursor there I can go control I and that will start a clip marking and I go control L and that will fast forward control O will end the clip so I can go control I control L control O control I control O so I can quickly create clips in the timeline by simply using keyboard keystrokes. Now let's create a new row. Control R and you can see that our clip cursor has jumped down to the newly created row and I can go Control I, Control O, Control I, Control O. Quite clever. So let's create a few more rows. Now you see that my clip cursor is in row 4 and if I want to move that clip cursor up I can go Shift Control and use J to go up, Shift Control L to go down. So I can move that clip cursor and I can start inserting wherever that is located. Now often you might want to trim and you need to select a clip in order to jump into the trimming mode. So if we do Shift Control S that will select the clip immediately to the left of the clip cursor. So you can see that the clip is now selected and I can use Control L to fast forward a bit. Okay, I want to trim it right there. Control I will trim the start time wherever the clip cursor is. And Control O will trim the out time or the end time of the clip. Remember that you can always use Command Z in order to uh, undo whatever you last did. So let's move up. Shift Control J. Control J. Back. If I want to select the clip to the right, I go Control S. And it works very similar to the Tab key. However, it keeps the selection um, to the single clip that you're moving to. So if I want to move backwards, Shift Control S, Control S. If I want to input a note, I can hold Control and hit Return. And that will open up the note editor for that clip. So I write, this is a note. If I want to move to the next note type, I can go tab. Tab, tab, tab will just cycle me around to each of the note types available. And when I'm done with the note editing, I hit escape and that will take me out of it. So if I want to move backward, move down, move to the next one. Hopefully you're seeing those keyboard shortcuts popping up in the movie. Now, if you're working in a timeline and you want to just insert a note in the next one, Control N will hop the selection to the right, to the closest clip, and automatically start the note editing. So if I don't want to do that, I just hit Escape. Shift Control N will go to the previous clip and start the note editing. And Escape will take it out. Now let's split to the right, create a composer. 
we're going to select all these clips. Option Command B will paste those in. And the same keyboard shortcuts work in the composer. Now one that's very useful is I can go, I want this angle, angle number one. So I press one and I hit Command L and that will lock in that clip as the preferred clip. If I want to select the next clip, works exactly the same as it did in the timeline. Control S, I'll play that. Yeah, I want this angle, Command L. If I want to go back to that one, Shift Command, and I play that. So all of those keyboard shortcuts work exactly the same. Now one keyboard shortcut that is a bit awkward, but once you get used to it, it is quite handy. So if you hold shift left and right, you can do the trimming. And that's shown in another screencast. You can use the same keyboard shortcut or the same uh, operation using a different keyboard shortcut, which is shift control I will take you to the beginning. And if you continue to hold those down and press I and O, you can change the, the location of the start time. So I let up all the keys, shift control O will take me to the end point of that clip and I can do that same operation. That is essentially the same as holding shift left and right, but you're able to keep your keyboard, uh, your hands right in the middle of the keyboard. Again, it takes a little bit of work to get good at these keystrokes, but you're not lifting your palms up off the keyboard, which actually in the end can save you a fair bit of time. Another handy keyboard shortcut is Control T. So if I press Control T here, it's going to trim the clip at that point. Now this one works a little bit differently than Control I and O. Control T will either set the in time if it's to the left of the midpoint clip, or Control T will set the out time if it's to the right of the midpoint of the clip. So those are the keyboard keystrokes that I wanted to cover off in this more advanced uh, editing mode that you might want to learn how to use.